Today I'm going to show you how to plant carrots using a cornstarch gel. I'm Troy Haynes and welcome to The Corn Report. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button anytime during the video. Today I'm going to show you how to sow carrot seeds with the cornstarch gel. There are two reasons I'm going to use this method. First, carrots are grown from a very small seed and can be difficult to sow without later having to weed some of them out. To me, it feels like a real waste of potential carrots and this technique will help maximize your carrot production. Secondly, it's critical that the seeds stay moist. I can't express that enough. Carrot seeds, when germinating, must be watered frequently. Unless you're home all day, it's almost impossible to guarantee that they are staying moist. Some people use drip hoses, and I'm sure that works, but to me that seems like a waste of water. And that's why I want to show you the cornstarch gel method. The cornstarch gel will do two things. It'll help distribute the seeds evenly and keep the water bonded to the outside of the seed so you can make sure they can germinate properly without excessive watering. Let's combine a cup of room temperature water and two tablespoons of cornstarch in a saucepan and mix it up. Heat until boiling and stir with a whisk. Set aside and let completely cool. Once cool, transfer the gel into a Ziploc bag. Let's add the seeds to the gel and mix thoroughly. The ideal soil is deep, loose and well-drained, sandy or loamy. When I first established this bed, I added 50% sand to the soil. This year I'm adding some leftover potting soil to the carrot bed from last year's flowers. After mixing the potting soil into the bed, I'm going to make a few half inch deep trenches in the bed spaced about 10 inches apart. I like to use a garden stake and press it into the soil. Next, we're going to nip off the corner of our bag with the gel and seed mixture about twice as wide as the size of the seed. Too small and it will be hard to get the seeds not to clog. Too big and it will come out too fast and will be hard to evenly distribute. Squeeze it out into the trench and cover it over. Pat it down to hold the soil in place and give it a gentle drink of water. So that's it in a nutshell. Please check back with me in a month or so and see how our carrots are doing. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Facebook at The Corn Report. I'm Troy Haynes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And thanks for looking at my corn.